Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about Hostiles. This film here stars Christian Bale and Rosamund Pike. Yep, that's her name. I want to make sure I said it right and it wasn't another name. Um, essentially, the film, uh, to have, read a summary here, uh, in 1882, after nearly two decades of fighting the Cheyenne, the Apache, and the Comanche natives, the Uni United States Cavalry Captain and War Hero Joseph Walker is ordered to escort the ailing chief or Cheyenne chief Yellow Hawk, his most despised enemy, to his an ancestral home in Montana's Valley of the Bears. Loosened with the baleful anger, Joseph's unwelcome final assignment in the feral American landscape is further complicated when the widowed settler Rosa, Rosalie Quaid is taken by the band of soldiers. Uh, <clears throat> as aggressive packs of modern Comanches who are still on the warpath are thirsty for blood in a territory crawling with hostiles in the season of Captain uh, do his duty one last time. And, uh, it's from IMDB and I think that's a fairly good uh, synopsis. Now I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because it doesn't seem as if many people have seen this movie. The budget was around like I believe 30, 30 to 50 million and it made about 35 million so in theaters nobody really not I guess not a whole lot of people saw it if anything you could say it was a box office uh, failure critically uh, people liked the movie Christian Bale was acclaimed in his part however I believe Christian Bale is often acclaimed in pretty much everything he's ever been in because he's oh, oh, he always does his job. He always does his places parts well. He's always outstanding, great. You know, I mean, you could go on, but this was a very good role for him. Um, he he did a film uh, 310 to Yuma, which I have. He's really good in that, uh, and it's a uh, this is a film that's. Uh, it's very different from, uh, in many ways, of other westerns, but I guess you could say it's reminiscent of other westerns. I don't know. I mean, I, again, not many people have seemed to have watched this movie. Um, I haven't done any Blu-ray or DVD sales or rentals. I'm not sure where if this is streaming anywhere, maybe on Amazon, um, uh, but I don't know. So I'm not all. I have the film, obviously, and I watched it a few times, and I enjoyed it. Um, Rosamund Pike, um, Wes Stoudy, and all all the cast do a a really good job. Um, the director Scott Cooper has only um, yeah, this is his fourth film he's made, uh, at least directed, uh, to my knowledge. He directed Crazy Heart, which won Jeff Bridges' his only Oscar. Um, I think some think, uh, see that as sort of a uh, recognition of, you don't have an Oscar, it's your time, a recognition of your career, essentially. I have not seen the film, though uh, I've read some descriptions of that film, and I'm not, I don't know, it isn't entirely... Uh, woo me. It doesn't really entice me to want to watch it. Um, personally, maybe I will. Um, if anybody says that film is good and I should watch it, I shall. Some people I uh, I know who have seen it once said, you know, oh, it's good. Oh, and someone says, no, it's not. I don't know. Um, he made a uh, out of the furnace, 
out of the furnace, which is a uh, which also stars Christian Bale. He also made Black Mass, which starred Johnny Depp. Uh, I think I talked about that film a bit. Maybe I never did an episode or anything like that here, but you know, I just recall saying how he deserted an Oscar. But yeah, Hostiles was a very good film. Um, it looked interesting. I didn't see it in the theaters. Um, but when it came out, it was like December, and there's some, like a movie or so, too, like I wanted to see. And unfortunately, that movie came out around the exact same time as those other movies. It was Darkest Hour. I, I saw Darkest Hour instead. He has he has done four films. I just want, I just want to make sure he's doing so. But yeah, he's done four movies. The director has, and uh, I enjoyed this movie though. But I I would have liked to have seen this on the big screen. Um, but again, you have so many movies coming out. Um, that uh, you have to pick and choose. Sometimes you, you sort of miss out. Uh, I, I think I kind of missed out on a cinematic experience. Because um, uh, watching this movie, it would have been a great thing to see, especially scenery-wise. It, it looks gorgeous. It's just well shot, well acted. Some critics, uh, apparently, they, they kind of blame the directing at times, like it's not very well directed, or things like that. I don't know. I When actors give good performances, say lines competently, um, depending on what kind of film it is, if everything fits together, I guess I'm at a loss as to how it's bad directing. I mean, sure, there's some films that are poorly directed and yet a performance or two shine through because like the actor or actress is just that good give, give them an awful script and or or maybe a good script but a bad director and they can carry off whatever anything you know I think Christian Bale is one of those actors if you gave him a bad script you know and a bad director or a bad script but a good director or any kind of combination of what I've mentioned he's good but I think the script was good for Hostiles I think the uh, the direction was good I think the film itself is good again I know I'm not uh, really telling a whole lot except I just you know the synopsis but you know it doesn't seem as if a lot of people have seen this movie I want people to go watch it I think it's worth watching And it's sad what happens at the very beginning with Rosamund Pike and her family. It's just, it's, it's, it's horrible. Um, but, you know, what happens at the very beginning of that, the film, it, it did happen. Uh, though, uh, though, I think the trailers and everything, I think people kind of know, like, her family's killed. Spoiler alert, but that's at the very beginning of the movie. But I'm not going to say much of anything else. Though I think the trailers, and even that synopsis, you know, actually that synopsis did say, <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she was, uh, her family was killed. Um, they brought her, brought her character. Um, you know, it, it's 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 really quite. It's quite a film. I think it should be watched. I think people need to see this. Uh, just because it's very good. It's very well made. It's it's entertaining. Uh, it's two hours, 15 minutes. Yeah, it, it's not a long film. Sorry. It's not a long film. It's very, you know... It's a very well made. It's just it's 
I think it's good. Um, uh, now, would it be one of the best films of last year? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure I would have put it in my top ten, personally, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't uh, put it in like a top 15 or 20. I think it's a very well made film. It's a great film. I think it, you could even argue it's fairly underrated. Um, uh, like it came, but then it just not many people talked about it. Like yeah, there was people when they're promoting the movie try to get people to see it, it's just, but, you know, like, actors and actresses and directors, you know, they go out, do what they can to try and get people to watch it, but perhaps people just wanted to see something else, like, Darkest Hour here, because um, that was around, out around the time Nationwide here in America um, came out just before Christmas. I think this film came out after Christmas, so yeah, it was like right at the very end of the month. And, um, and I know that film, uh, Darkest Hour, made a lot of money. Uh, people kept going back to see it over and over. And that was a great film, but I think Hostiles is a great film too. may not be, you know, might not be one of the best films of last year. Like, if you didn't, like, if you made a list of your top ten films of last year, this may not be included on it. Uh, you may not rearrange and take one movie out and kind of reorganize the structure of where you think it should be placed. But I think it's a very good film. Uh, I don't want to overhype it. Uh, you know, I just don't, but I just think it's worth watching. Um, I think uh, if you like Christian Bale, if you like the director's previous works, Crazy Heart, uh, Out of the Furnace, and or Black Mass, if you like any of those films, you might enjoy this. Um, so hopefully, uh, if you like Rosamund Pike, Wes Stoney, and some of the other people in this film, Jesse Ple Jesse Plemons, uh, Adam Beach, Rory C Cochran, and uh, Ben Foster. Uh, they're all in this film. Uh, so if you like any or all those actors, uh, alongside Christian Bale, Rosamund Pike, Wes Stoney, uh, you might like this. Uh, you think the premise from the description sounds good? Just check it out. I'd I'd recommend. I recommend you check it out. Uh, I think this film needs some good exposure, because um, you know all the actors and actresses and uh, the people who made the film and promoting it did all they could. Commercials and trailers and all that from the studio. They did all they could, but it doesn't seem like in terms of box office wise, uh, many people went and saw it. So. <sighs> but I guess that happens for some films. Um, not many people see it, but uh, when it was in theaters, but then people discover it later on, like Blu-ray, DVD, or nowadays with streaming. Um, so I'd recommend just picking up a copy if you see it. Uh, give it a watch. It's a little over two hours. decent story uh, good film I think and uh, yeah not much else to say or else I'll just be repeating myself and uh, yeah I enjoyed the film I think it's good that's all I can say um, so if you if this seems interesting to you if you like westerns Give it a watch. So I have to say uh, about this film. Uh, 
Hope you all have a good day, a good weekend. Hope your 4th of July was good. And, uh, yeah, see you all next time.